Hi guys, back with another video for you today. There are two new fragrances from Francesca Bianchi. Two. Two. We are doing first impressions on these two fragrances. The first one is from her own line, Byzantine Amber. Love Ambers. We're going to find out how that smells like. And then the second one from her other line, Hedonique. It's called Obsessive Devotion. So this is the first time Dahlia and I are smelling these on camera. We're going to let you know all about them coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yesterday we're talking about two new fragrances from Francesca Bianchi. Uh, Dahlia and I shot a video last December profiling several of her fragrances. If you haven't caught that video, go catch it. And these um, two are just launched, so we're going to find out about it. So this brand, Hedonique, is fairly new. It's a line that she's come out that also has like leather accessories, almost like S&M and stuff. I Were you aware of this? I have not seen the accessories. Okay. And uh, that's a separate line. And the fragrances are 50 ml extra de parfum versus 30 ml in her original now You know line. these are first impressions because you can see like the seal. This one came out. Well, that one is, but this is still sealed. Yeah, that one I so, opened, but I did not smell it yet. Yeah, this, you're getting us raw here, first raw. impressions. Raw, but raw Byzantine Amber. It's a 2023 launch. Perfumer is Francesca Bianchi. It's an extrait de parfum. It's considered an amber. It's 30 ml, 145. Very, very concentrated fragrances. As you can Ooh, see pretty. right there. Are you a fan of Francesca Bianchi fragrances? I am also a fan of Francesca Bianchi, the person. Oh, cool. Um, I feel like amber is a good fit with the line. Oh, wow. What? It's got a lot of color. So this has notes of bergamot, cinnamon for top notes, geranium for heart notes, and for the base notes we've got benzoin, labdanum, frankincense, leather, styrax, ambergris. I like it. Yeah? Smoky, spicy. Oh wow. Very, very much in line with Francesca's fragrances, but going into the amber direction for sure. She's right about the smoke. It's very smoky. But it doesn't have as, like, the buttery orris as much as... Oh no, I'm getting it. Are you? Yeah. Give me back. I think... But it has like a more... I think the ambergris in the is kind of a very raw kind of... It's adding a bit of animalic layer to it. Dare I say skank? Yeah, there's some skank here, for sure. I, I think the... I think personally the Oris has been left off of the list, but I'm picking it up here for sure, but not in its abundant uh, amounts in other fragrances. I don't get the like desserty thing. No, 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 this is not gourmand for sure. But ambers often are, so it's worth mentioning that this is not that. No. It's definitely very leathery, which is something that Francesca does. Lots of leather fragrances. Mm -hmm. It's definitely smoky, incense -y. Definitely smoky. And then there's that light layer of a, uh, you know, ambergris down there, a bit aquatic marine thing. But I'm getting a lot of cinnamon. Yeah, it's got that like mouthwatery kind of, um, I'm going to spray some of this Do on. Do you actually have skin left? There's three sprays. I... I... Oh, cinnamon. Right away, it's cinnamon. Can you smell cinnamon? I'm waiting for it to, like, <laughs> calm down. Ooh, whoa, it's even more animalic on me. Wow. Smoke bomb. <laughs> Smoky and animalic. It is extremely animalic on you. Ooh. I bring out the funk. You, you <laughs> all of it. <laughs> the funky funk. All of it. That is, um... This is intense. This is going to be, I mean, knowing her fragrances, this is going to be extremely long lasting. Mm -hmm. It's very animalic. Just, I needed to confirm that for you. It is very animalic. So, animalic. are you a fan of animalics? Are you shy of animalics? Shy is not the right Do word. Do you dabble in animalics? I dabble. Yeah. But you don't embrace it fully. There's, it's... They, they really go nuts on my skin. They radiate. What's the most animalic fragrance you wear? Fate Man by Amouage. But you're going towards more of a sweaty. Yeah, that's cumin more like the animal. cumin kind of. Um, I have. You like civet? You know what I have? I have um, Andy Towers Attar. Oh. Do you like Sal Salome by Papillon Perfumery? I like it in theory. Hmm. I don't like it in practice. Okay. <laughs> no, but, this is. But I like Liz Moore a lot. I, I think she's brilliant, um, but I think uh, it was not designed for my skin tone. But this is good. Smell it. It's brightening it's up. It's amazing on you. Yeah, we, we the funk has kind of like broken up into something gorgeous. Yeah. This, this settles really nice. 
That's really nice. All right. I but, don't dare. But I don't this is more they, smoky for sure. Should I try it? I mean, the animalics don't leave me. Let's just try it. You'll just have to wash on, your hands. I'm going to be on public transit later. Well, you'll, you'll keep all the people away from you. Well, that, you know, you're selling me on this now. Okay. One spray? I did three. You're a brave man. I'm a... Uh, Scared. <laughs> Terrified. I, animalics don't play well with me. Yeah. We're, we're going to see Maybe what you happens. can start playing well with the animalics. Well, I, we're, we're trying. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow, it's more animalic on you. Yes, as previously stated. But it's stated. also a bit more metallic on you. Yeah, give, we'll give it a minute. It it may turn into the loneliness that's on you, the spicy kind of... Ooh. See, I'm getting auras here. Are you still? I'm getting it now. I'm getting more of like the benzoin, maybe like a more balsamic-y kind of... No, it's of... definitely balsamic. It's uber balsamic. But I'm not getting like the... Because I have dark side, which has that buttery kind of... Like, yeah, that's more, for butter. sure. Butter. Butter. It's butter. It's less... It's colder on you. It's very cold on me. It's warm on me. Yeah. Is well, that because I have a hot body? Yes. No, I don't have a hot body. <laughs> I agree with this statement. No, 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 no. What else do we have? So we have another fragrance from uh, Francesca Bianchi called Obsessive Devotion from her Hedonique brand, her other uh, collection of fragrances, which uh, come with... Um, leather paraphernalia wear and... You're making it sound bad. So, uh, this is the second fragrance from that collection. I assume hedonique is another language for hedonist? Could be, yeah. I'm just gonna guess. So this is Obsessive Devotion right here. It's cute. Have you sampled her fragrances in this collection? There was one that was very gourmand. Leather. I believe it was leather. I don't know. The previous one. Oh, uh hmm. -huh. Let's see Obsessive Devotion. Okay. Yeah, I'll give this to you. So this is Extra de Parfum Woody Floral 50ml 225. We've got bergamot, grapefruit for top notes, heart notes, peach, pink pepper, ylang ylang champaka, base notes, iris, smoky leather, oak moss, patchouli, heart, sandalwood. It's really pretty. Really? It's really pretty. It's really, it's, it's... Oh, wow, this is so different from Francesca Bianchi. I don't know what gourmand thing I'm thinking of. It might have been in her regular line. This is so pretty. It's like, it's sweet, but not candy. It's floral, but not heavy. It's... Okay, I'm gonna try that one on this hand. It's really pretty. And I'm gonna go home with the Francesca Bianchi smell. Three sprays. You're gonna walk home. Away from people. Oh, wow, it's more animalic on me. Leather, I should say. That's Ooh, really it. pretty. Oh. It's so different. It's so masculine on you. And it's so like, pretty on paper. I know, it's so floral on oh, there. I have to try it now. Let's wait, let's see what the other one's doing. The other one is kind of more woody and sort it's of It's becoming more similar soft. to mine. Oh. No, but it's like a softer kind of gentle amber on me. Mm -hmm. But the aggressive animalic kind of dissipated, which is good to like tell the people mm. the thing. Um, Three okay. sprays, come on. No, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, we did one spray. One spray of Obsessive Devotion by Hedonique. That's so pretty. Let me smell. It's so different on you. It's what? So pretty. What the? It's so smoky on me and animalic. It's like, I, if, I mean, you saw us spray the same bottle, but it doesn't smell like the same fragrance. Because, boys and girls, the final ingredient in perfume is your skin chemistry. Oh, yes. You can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're leaving that in. But these are so different. This is so pretty. We do have different body chemistries, so things do smell differently on yeah, us. Yes, this is dramatic even for us. Well, it's changing. Look. I can't. Hold on. I, it doesn't even smell like the same fragrance. Let me smell. My, it, wow, it's, it's all floral on me, you, it's, and it's, it's all so leather on me. It's pink, and it's like, yes, it's leathery. Yeah, thank and God it's not pretty and pink, because I hate that color. I love that movie. Oh, I love the movie, too. Mm. Love the music, too. Uh, what was that? Psychedelic Verse? Well, there was also OMD, <gasps> If You Leave. <laughs> so romantic. Anyway, that's what we think about Obsessive Devotion. I really like that one. You do? It's really pretty. 
it's it's pink and it's pink and pretty and and champagne-y. It's it's changing. It's kind of getting pretty now. It's not pretty. It's only pretty on me. No, it smells good now. It's not smoky as much. Not le leathery smoky. It does smell good. It doesn't smell pretty. It smells more fruity on you. Fruity? Not like that. Like fruity like fruit. Like berries or something. No, I don't get the fruit at all. I get smoke and leather. I... Really? You don't get like the bergamot kind of... Well, I wouldn't call that fruity. I would call I get like citrus. I get. I feel like there's. I mean, there aren't any berries listed, but I feel like there's a berry kind of. Well, there's peaches. Oh, maybe that's it. But I'm not even getting the peaches. I'm off actually of me. wearing a fruity fragrance today, so maybe it's me. Oh yeah. I'm wearing. Um, you bring out the fruit in me. I'm wearing Suspiro's Muse. Oh, how's that? Love it. Yeah. I'm gonna post about it tomorrow. Ooh. Anyway, so we have two fragrances from Francesca Bianchi. We have. I like them both. They're both good. Yeah. I actually really like the second one. I love On me, it's really obsessive great. Obsessive Devotion is gorgeous. But this on you is gorgeous. Yeah, they're both really good. Yeah, they're she both. She does good work. She's, and she's really nice. You've met her. Mm hmm Yeah, so these are the two. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you guys have sampled these two fragrances from Francesca Bianchi. And if you haven't, you should. You should, yeah. They're definitely solid releases. If you have any questions or comments, list below. Other than that, what else should we say? You can find me on Instagram at the Perfume Dahlia. You can find him basically everywhere at the Perfume Guy. <laughs> yes, everywhere. Basically. I'm going to be in Paris I'll probably by the time this video airs. Uh, it's already. You can find him in Paris at the Perfume Guy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.